And this is Stella and Minnie. Hi, Minnie. What are you doing back there? Hi. What are you doing, Minnie? Are you rolling over? Stella, are you scared? What's going on YouTube and welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, thank you for returning. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications so you are notified every single time I drop a video and you don't miss not one video. Everybody in here, smash that like button, share this video and drop a comment down below during the video, after the video, before the video, whatever you feel. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you like about the video. Let me know what you want to see next. You saw by the title and the thumbnail, we got a good one. So let's get straight into this room also you guys make sure you are watching the ads all the way through I know some of them can be a little lengthy but watch them as much as you can as long as you can as best as you can it helps to support this channel it helps to support me it helps to allow me to do this on more of a full-time basis in the future and it helps just to get me back out to the algorithm but with that being said, let's get back into the groom. Okay, so this is Stella. She is a sweet little baby. She is, I want to say maybe like a year and a half to two years old. And as you can see, she has a sibling, which is actually her daughter. That is her puppy. And she also has another sibling whose name is Sebastian and he will be on this channel very shortly so many you'll see next week you're getting Stella this week you'll see many next week and you'll see Sebastian the following week they all have three different temperaments three different personalities but they're all very 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 sweet dogs now little backstory to these dogs they stay in a little pen outside i don't know if they come in the house that much but that seems to be a thing down south a lot of people keep their dogs outside i don't particularly understand it because of the heat but people keep their dogs outside now they stay in a pen and it's these three and she also has a few other dogs and she gets them all shaved down short because it's just easier to maintain all the dogs with a very short length now they came in very stinky they all smelt like pee because sebastian actually marks them so he pees on them so they all got a really good scrub because they needed it <laughs> now i don't think they get groomed too often because she gets them shaved short i want to say she gets them groomed maybe two to three times a year just because she has so many dogs she wants to be able to keep them maintained in a short length so it's not too much money going out the door which i understand i completely understand that so they don't get groomed too often they just get groomed when she feels like they pretty much need it which most pet parents do that now i will say out of all of them her the puppy and sebastian she is the most timid one out of all of them so she is a very nervous dog very sweet though but very nervous for everything she was scared for the grooming scared for coming in she just tried to stay as still and quiet as she possibly could so she wasn't noticed in the crate but obviously i can see her so for her bath i'm going to be washing her in the quadruped protein shampoo so it is a shampoo that conditions as well and it has i believe proteins in it to help with their skin and their coat i love this shampoo it gets them clean the very first wash but i like a really squeaky clean coat so i scrub them twice for the most part so i'll be washing her twice in that and then blow drying her i'm going to let her bath play out and then i'll pop back in when it's time for her groom and i'll go over what i'm doing with her
Now for all three of the dogs, I do believe that I use the flat wider nozzle because it's not as harsh as that tight circle nozzle. It's not as loud and it's just a little bit softer on them. And most of the dogs actually do a lot better with this nozzle than the other one. One of my dogs does a lot better. Well, actually two of my dogs does a lot better with this nozzle, Bella and Yazzie. Yazzie absolutely hates her face being dried. Bella hates everything about grooming and they do so much better with this nozzle than the other one so I use this when I'm drying dogs who are very timid and nervous and scared. So during her drying, I did discover that she had some mats. So per the owner, she wanted her shave short anyway. So I'm going to be doing a four blade on her body, which is short, but it doesn't show skin. So if you guys are looking for a blade that is short, they want them shaved, but they don't want to see any skin, try a four blade, depending on their coat texture. Usually a four blade is really good for Yorkies. So I'm using a four blade on her body, and then I'm going to go through and scissor her head now let me just say doing her face was so difficult because something about the coat texture the texture of her fur on her face was so much more different than on her body her body was very easy to handle i do go over it with a reverse guard just to make it look nice and clean and smooth but her face trying to get her face because she has a, bu a bunch of cowlicks so her face can it grows in different directions and with the velocity dryer it just 
it helped to a point but she still has a bunch of calyx on her face so on her cheeks her fur sticks out the top of her head like sticks out but it lays flat so it's trying to scissor her face was a lot but i'll go over all of that when i'm doing her face if you guys hear growling in the video it is a the owner says it's a standard poodle we all think it's a doodle he looks like a doodle he acts like a doodle everything says doodle about this dog but it's a dog being groomed behind me it's his very first time being groomed he's he's a rescue and he's been in about three different homes so the groomer next to me is working with him because the dog is a family's friend dog so she's working with him through that groom which took a lot of time because again new dogs take time to work with and it's better to not rush them through it than to push them through a grooming process that they're not going to like
fix this on Bob's dishwasher. I lean down and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> how he never knew there was a trash yeah. So what I did on Stella was I went through her with a four blade. I realized that some areas the four blade wasn't cutting correctly. So then I went through with a zero reverse. So a five eighths reverse on her body, which is equivalent to a four blade. And that cleaned up her cut so much better than the four, four blade with the grain. So what I want to talk about briefly is for new groomers that get dogs that have never been to the grooming salon before and the dog shows up matted. And it'll kind of sort of tie into dogs that have never been to the grooming salon before just in general whether they're matted or not. But specifically when they're matted. So I know a lot of new groomers really want to please pet parents and do a really good job and demat their dog because they want that person as a client. They want to show the owner their skill set, which I completely understand because as a new groomer, I was the exact same way. But now as an experienced groomer, I just want to tell you it's not worth it. It's not worth it because when you have a dog that has never been there before and the dog is matted and you are brushing that dog out and that dog is growling at you, biting at you, snapping at you, it's only making that dog hate the grooming process. So it's better to shave them down the first time so when they come back they can get more fluffy haircuts as they have grown out and the owner is taking care of them as opposed to demanding that dog and stressing out that dog the dog has never been to grooming before and never experienced grooming and now that dog thinks that this is what grooming is i don't ever want to come back here i'm always going to bite you i'm always going to snap at you i'm always going to flip out take your time with dogs any dog really but take your time with dogs that have mainly never been to the grooming salon before because you you're basically setting an example for the rest of their life because a dog that has long hair, that their fur grows really long, they're always going to need grooming for the rest of their life. So show the example for the dog. Hey, let me just show you what it's like. I know you're probably not going to like your legs being shaved down, but at least you'll understand that it's not hurting you. They don't know what matting and pulling and tugging is just yet then as they're getting older and getting used to the grooming process then you can work your way into that but don't rush a dog through the grooming process also for pet parents who drop their dogs off at the grooming salon whose dog has never been to the grooming salon before one it's okay if your dog is there for a while because dogs that have never been to the grooming salon before need breaks they need moments in between the grooming process so they're not stressed out okay you don't like this process you're really freaking out let me put you back let you rest work on another dog who i know is okay with it then i'll pull you back out once you've calmed down dogs who have never experienced this before need moments of peace and just 
just to calm themselves down and calm their heart rate down so it's okay if your dog stays there for four hours five hours as long as your dog is safe and not being harmed it's okay we don't keep them locked up in cages on purpose we don't you know torture them or anything like that it's just it's best for your dog to hang out get a vibe of the grooming salon and just kind of relax they can understand that it's a place where they can just calm down and relax and not all of it is bad oh i get my own crate i get to lay down in between the bath and the drying or in between the bath and drying and my haircut oh this is nice okay this is cool i get some water this is cool too so be okay with the fact that your dog can stay a few hours don't try and rush the groomer through your newborn puppy that's coming into the grooming salon or your three-year-old dog that you never got groomed before well i want him in and out in an hour well your dog has never been here before so i can't promise you that understand when the groomer says that because they know what they're talking about And for the people wondering why I haven't switched the angle, some people prefer the camera angle like this. So I'm trying to cater to everyone. No, you cannot please everyone, which is why some people still complain about me switching the angle or not switching the angle in the, the video, even though I explain it. Some people prefer this view, so you're still going to see a view like this because some people prefer this view so i'm trying to give y'all different angles so everybody is okay not everybody is happy because i can't make everybody happy so that everybody is okay with what they're viewing because other angles may cause somebody to get dizzy different things like that so i am trying to cater to different styles of grooming and different angles
And if you can hear the dog in the background barking, that is actually the other family member to this one, Sebastian. He is not pleased with being in the kennel. But that's him barking. Now, like I said, she is the more timid one out of the three of them. So just simply clippering down her face, she was terrified. And I couldn't, I couldn't understand because she looked like she's gotten groomed before, but something tells me that she's only gotten her face scissored before, but her mom wanted her face really tight and her body really tight. So I had to take a guard comb to her face. Now, typically on a Yorkie, you hand scissor the face because you don't want it to look a certain way, but her mom wanted her face nice and tight. And during the process of doing her face, I noticed that her ears are extremely yeasty, like extremely yeasty to the point where some of them are swollen up a bit. I did forget to show it in the camera, so I'm sorry because I was on the time crunch this day. I had to get those dogs out of there because they had already been there for a while. But I do flush her ears with the ear cleaner that I have that has witch hazel in it and it seemed to help the smell of her ears.
start on the body yeah and then i go to the legs yeah that's me yeah i mean all the sanding and all that's done yeah and nails well, the amount of back brushing that i do i don't have to do a lot to the body it's right yeah. the legs. right but, right yeah.
usual here. Yeah. Now I am putting the finishing touches on Stella because she is all ready and my apologies I did not get a before picture or before video or an after video so with that being said we're going to hop straight to her finishing photo. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys smash that like button, share this video, drop a comment down below, do all that fancy YouTube stuff. I love you guys. Train your dogs for grooming. Make sure you watch every video straight through. Watch those ads. Enjoy the videos. I'll catch you in the next one. Love you guys.